It's been a rainy last couple of days here in Perpignan, France, but you gotta find the positive. They still have the Christmas lights up. Today is a game day for us. Um, I've had a lot of you guys ask me about when we play the game because I'm always training. <laughs> this video is for you all. favorite places to eat. I probably should put this in the vlog more because I really like this place and they're really nice here. If you ever come to Perpignan, this is the place to come to. It's called the French Coffee Shop. And my food has arrived. Ciao, bro. Please. <laughs> Just a quick little message for you guys on game day. I probably never told anybody this. Public. I've never said this publicly. I've said it in messages and hundreds of private messages and private conversations with people. But one thing I think is really important I've learned through playing professional basketball is that you can't go out there in the game and know you're going to play well. You never know that. You only can control certain things. One thing you can control is playing hard. So I always, my mentality is always I'm going to go out and do my best I can do because you always can give your best. It may not be as good as other people, but you always can give your best. That's kind of a mentality that I take into games, but I also apply to life. Certain things you can't control, but what you can control is how hard you go, how much you give, how much effort you put into it. So always just give your best. My little thought of the day. I always wear two pair of socks for the game. <laughs> you know, one thing when we're playing on the road, we kind of gotta we gotta bring our own main food. You know, they'll give us snacks and stuff, but like the main course is on us. So me, gotta get Subway. Oh, yeah, exactly, much, huh? Yeah. Right, go. Merci, merci. Just getting here to the gym now. Five hour bus ride. Oh yeah, we got palm trees here, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are what we take to go to the game. So you can understand my pain for five hours sitting there. Look at all that. Like, a couple games ago, we was on the other bus. With this bus, the driver fell asleep. So this, This is our gym, where we normally play all the time. But not today. And we got the young guys traveling with us today, man. This dude's like 14 years old, man. <laughs> so this is like the first time ever our physical trainer brings his girlfriend. Hello, everybody. <laughs> On the trip. Alright, we just stopped. Oh. And chilling here. We got Swaggy P. Yo! And we got the body. <laughs> we call him the body because. Why do people call you the body, bro? No, he's a great player, but he doesn't have the body of... So we're chilling, we're chilling at this rest stop. My boy, 
Adam Williams, oh, man. Shit. This dude, man, I played with him for like a year. It's been like four years in France, man. He's just learning French now. Man. I taught him everything he knew. <laughs> when he first arrived, he couldn't speak French, but he came, came to me. And now he's looking at And we spoke English together. Yeah, he spoke English. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like the, he's like the kid of the team. Swaggy P. Keith, look, you can't. Oh, 30 years old. Hey, man, don't say that my thing, man. I got a lot of young people watching my thing, and they can't help. I gotta cut that out, man. We got the young kid right here. <laughs> we got that script that I can't give away my real age. Let's go, game time. No, I'm All right, I'm all laced up, ready to play in the game. Everybody warming up right now. It's gonna be a big game because we're missing our other import player, John. He's another big part of our team. So we're missing him, so a lot of the pressure. We're missing Corgi also, the other American, but the focus is usually on John and me, but since John's not here, a lot of it's gonna be on me. So we're gonna need this guy right here, Mike. He gotta make some threes tonight, you know. But uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know how it go. I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna spin it after the game. Man, it was a tough game tonight. We lost in overtime by I think three points. We made a really bad play when we were winning in the last 20 seconds, and that kind of just changed the whole course of the game. But I'm glad you guys are here. For me, and you guys are watching this, I'm glad you guys are here. It makes me feel a lot better to vent this to you guys now. So, got a shower and get ready now, but uh, better, better times are coming. I know it, I believe it. Now, time to eat. Yeah, it doesn't look super perfect, but after the game, it's better than nothing. They got like a club here in the... Look at this. So they got like a club in their gym. Merci. We are finished. Pretty cool. We're walking out and the, everyone's eating with us. They all gave us like a standing ovation, you know. It was a really good game, you know. Uh, just good to feel appreciated, you know. The other team, other fans, they really respected us, which is a great thing, especially when you don't when you don't come out on top and you're sad. Oh man, that was a quick four and a half hour trip home. We didn't even stop one time, which is good because we got here faster. But now uh, heading home, it's like 3:47 in the morning. The game is finished, so now all that matters, I look at it the same way as I look at making YouTube videos, which is why I love doing it, is because all that matters now is the next game. Just like after I push upload on this vlog you're watching right now, for me, all in my mind that matters is the next video. And uh, yeah, so hopefully my pain is your game tonight. Shed a little knowledge on everything and yeah, I just want to say a quick thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being there. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't always have great moments and big days. Uh, but we do win a lot and we do lose a lot. And that's just how the life is. Here's a video right here of a good win we had. versus number one team. Uh, but good memories to look back on. But it's all about the next, next game. So, like I say, thank you guys for watching. And I'll speak to you guys later. But always remember, guys, to work hard. Be brave. And don't forget to smile, even if you lose your game.